Welcome again to Patrick's Hammock Time with Crystal Sound Story and Spirit. When I did the first one, I didn't know this, so it's interesting and it makes me smile how Spirit has its own way. Now, when I allow Spirit to talk to me, Sometimes there's also beings coming in. And when we talk about crystals and all of that, I, I always get Pan, beautiful ascended master Pan. He also had a flute, so, you know, we have kind of a connection. And he is light and he's just having fun most of the time. And so for me, Pan is part of nature, is part of that whole thing. And Pam is just telling me that he is the patron of this series of crystals and sound and story medicine that we have just begun. They don't come in an order, so no matter which one you're listening to, you always get what you need. Today, somebody came to me here. How can you see this magic? Yes, it's again two crystals. Nature has chosen to bring two different energies together. If you are into crystals, maybe you want to take a guess before you finish this video. Maybe when we do some lives, we can play more. So this crystal here has aquamarine, which is the light bluish. And then very much on the top, this very gentle mm, pinkish, forgive me, they say men don't have the same palette of colors than women. It's a kind of soft pink. I'm sure there's a word for that. But anyway, this soft pink is a morganite. I'm not a pink guy. I want to be really clear. And yet, Morganite is one of my favorite crystals. And I even wear it. So this is my pendant of the Morganite. Morganite has the property of, of, of a higher love, of pure love, of cosmic love. So in a way, it goes beyond the rose quartz and, and conditional or even unconditional love. So of course, I'm attracted. The aquamarine has a lot to do, of course, with water, but at the same time, it also has to do with words and speech and all of that. So when this crystal came to me, there was actually two pieces. And since I'm telling you the story, let me. So I was at my friend Kay's crystal shop in Auckland, Mount Eden, New Zealand. I'm not sure if she's still there. But anyway, she had two of these guys and said, Patrick, look at this, Morganite and Aquamarine decided to be together. And it was just love at first sight. This is what happens to crystals. You can't buy them, really. Often you have to pay for them, yes, but you can't buy them. Crystals, they just take you you know which one is yours. I can look at a hundred crystals and don't want any. Very possible. But when you know, you just know. So, yes, the aquamarine with the morganite were very clear. I had known about the morganite at this time, but I didn't have the pendant yet. So, morganite was something that I was actually looking for as I was looking to have something that kind of represents that that sacred heart, that love, pure love, cosmic love, all of this. And of course, language and writing was always with me, so that the aquamarine naturally is, is talking a lot to me. And so, Kay said, look at this, and it was two. And you know, I ended up buying two. At this time, I had a beautiful friend. 
and I was teaching with her together at the uh, Manokal, at the, what was it called? An institute, a university, technical university, whatever. And we developed a very beautiful friendship. She also liked crystals. We, we even did a, a beautiful research together and presented at a communication conference. So we had this bond for language and love. And, and so I ended up buying the other crystal for her and this one for myself. And when I brought it to her, I didn't have to say much because she just understood. So you see, every crystal has its story. But the beauty is it takes you beyond the story. And it's also nice to gift crystals. Do you know in New Zealand, the, the punamo, the, the green stone or the jade, when it's beautifully fashioned by a Maori into amazing, amazing meaning, you're not supposed to buy it for yourself, you're supposed to gift it. Uh, I, I didn't take that too seriously. If I really fell in love and felt like this was mine, I got it. But this is the general idea. So gifting a crystal surely adds a very different value. And it has a kind of key because I can put my thumb in there, as you can see. It comes very clear to me. It, is, it would like to unlock love in you that you haven't known before. But also your ability to express, whether that is in words or sound or whatever, whatever your gift is. So allow me to take you with a flute to unlock love within you that is pure and sacred that has been locked for you until now. But not only to unlock it, but also to unlock your unique way of expressing that love. So let's do it. Are you ready? Yes, you really want to be a little bit quiet to receive this medicine from the Morganite and Aquamarine <laughs> and the Hummingbird Flute to open up that love, to unlock that love that maybe you have hidden from yourself, to express it, to feel it and to be it. So what it un did it unlock that love that maybe you were hiding from yourself and that expression that allows you to be uniquely you. 
maybe in the midst of turmoil and chaos. Morganite and aquamarine are here to also take courage and dare to be that love and express it freely. Thank you for being here today. You let me know how it was and what it does for you. And you know, I also love to reply I love to read and I love to reply to you, to let it flow. When I was teaching at university, just diversing a little bit again, but we were talking about this, about my beautiful friend as well. I designed assignments and exams very differently because I was so keen on knowing what my students truly feel, think, how they apply, how they, whatever, how they imagine. And equally, I was keen on giving them the feedback as I was honoring if they really got engaged and really went with me on, on a journey that took them beyond what was really the the limited rational theory or whatever I was teaching. So it's the same here. Let's open up. It is beautiful to engage, to pose questions, to allow energy to speak and to answer from my heart to yours. So blessings into your world. See you soon and from my heart 